Almost 40,000 people in Ireland are living with epilepsy. Advancements in science and technology are transforming their care from the traditional one-size-fits-all to a personalised approach through a project called Pisces. This project is a collaboration between healthcare, academia, technology specialists, ergo and patients. My name's Katie Cook. I live in Dublin and I've had epilepsy since I was eight years old. In terms of daily seizures, I would have at the moment about 12 a day in a 24 hour period. Back when I moved to St James's, I was 16 and I remember distinctly that you had to ring in beforehand or send an email. I never saw any of my medical files or what was on record. The rise of the informed patient has been one of the most impactful changes in healthcare in the last 20 years. Patients are driving projects like this due to their need to understand and answer their unresolved questions. Using the patient portal app, people with epilepsy can view their medical record as well as report on their seizure control and quality of life, no matter where they are. I definitely can see the benefits of this particular app. I mean, especially for people with brain illnesses. They go in, they have a certain set of questions they want to ask their doctor. All they have to do is open the app and it's there. Or, you know, they've forgotten what the doctor said. They just have to go on and check what he said. Or if they're admitted to a different hospital and they have no idea what medicine they're on, they go on the app and it's there. Before each appointment, the clinician can easily review the patient's records using the electronic patient record, known as the EPR for short. This allows the clinician to recommend treatment based on the individual patient's needs. The immediate benefit of having the record electronically is that you would be able to share that record with medical practitioners and then the ability to, to update the record immediately. So there's no delay in the decision making between the clinical decision and the action in the record which may trigger various other care points in the community or around the country. The scientific advancements can be seen in genomic medicine, which is a key component of this project. It is helping determine the likelihood of an association between epilepsy and genetics. We've been working to develop a system to allow the genetic data to be created, to be analysed and then to be discussed appropriately at a clinical level. And the enabler for that process has been the e-health infrastructure that Ergo and the Lighthouse Project has developed. Every week, a team of specialists meet to discuss individual patient cases. They now have a streamlined view of patient information through the EPR technology. Clinical and genetic information can easily be interpreted and documenting decisions and agreed actions has been simplified. Using technical analytical tools, patient data can be examined to gain insights about epilepsy risk factors, response to treatment, patient needs and their use of epilepsy services. I think it definitely is a step of independence for a lot of people that don't have that at all. Like They feel like they're kind of controlling it in some way in an illness that you can't control at all. As a result, people with epilepsy are more informed and are now receiving targeted healthcare. Ergo, improving lives with technology.